So, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to introduce you the Ramsey's number and a small theorem related to it. Well, before we begin, have you ever heard of Ramsey's number or Ramsey's theorem? Because according to our professor, he found out that only people who did not know Ramsey's number was, was old, old professors. Anyways, putting that aside, let us start with a simple example. Suppose there's a party where n people participated. Then what is the smallest number of people there should be so that you are guaranteed to have three people who know each other or three people who do not know each other? Well, form to formalize the problem so that it is more mathematical, let us view the problem through the notion of graph. For some pos positive integer n, we're going to color all edges of kn either by blue or by red. We can suppose that two vertices that are connected by a blue edge are equivalent to two people who know each other, and those that are connected by a red edge are equivalent to two people who do not know each other. Then, what is the smallest possible integer, positive integer, and such that there is a monochromatic triangle? That is, there is a triangle with all edges colored either by red or blue. Well, as, you, as we learned from our class, we know that answer is 6. Before we go further on, let me give you a generalized definition of Ramsey's number. So, let C, I, and A, I be positive integers, where I is from 1 to C. Then, Ramsey's number denote, denote, denoted by R, A1, A2, blah, 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 to A, C, is the smallest integer n such that in any edge coloring of kn into colors 1 to c, there exists, uh, sorry guys, there is a mistake. Uh, this should be at least one kai subgraph with all edges colored with color i. Well, in this video, however, we're going to focus on specific case where every ai are three thus restricting the condition that for any kn, we're guaranteed to find some monochromatic triangles. So we'll denote this number, Ramsey number, by Rn3. So how can we get Rn3? We don't know the exact number, but by using recurrence relation, we can at least get the upper bound. In order to do so, first let's get R that R33 is less than or equal to 17 by using the fact that R 2, 3 is 6. So suppose we choose one vertex out of 17. There are 16 edges which should be colored with 3 colors. Therefore, by pigeonhole principle, 6 edges should be colored with same color, say red. Within these six vertices, if we use red to connect any two, win. we win. Therefore, we have to use the other two color, blue or black. But since R23 is 6, there is a monochromatic K3 in here. Therefore, R3, R33 is less than or equal to 17. Now we define Pn with this recurrence relation and initial conditions. We claim here that uh, Pn is greater than or equal to Rn3, and we'll prove this by induction on n. Base case is trivial. Suppose Pi, uh, uh, suppose the hypothesis is inductive hypothesis is true when n is equal to i. Then we move on to when n is equal to i plus one to show that pi plus 1 is greater than or equal to ri plus 1, 3. If there are pi plus 1 vertices, if we choose one vertex, there should be pi plus 1, minus 1 neighbors. And by the recurrence relation, it is equal to i plus 1 times pi minus 1 plus 1. If we color these edges with i plus 1 colors, by the pigeonhole principle, there should be one color that should be connected with pi vertices. And um, suppose um, we connected them with red color. And um, 
Within these PI vertices, if we connect any two with red, it creates K3 graph. So we must color them with other I colors. And by the inductive hypothesis that PI is greater than or equal to RI3, it creates monochromatic K3 in here. So therefore, PI plus 1 is greater than or equal to RI plus 1, 3. So from now on, we'll um, compute the exact number of PN. Let QN be equal to PN minus 1. Then by the recurrence relation, QN plus 1 is equal to N plus 1 times QN plus 1. If we divide each side of the equation by N plus 1 factorial, it gives us this equation. And from here, we, it can be easily seen that QN is equal to N factorial times this formula. And um, Euler, since Euler number E is equal to QN over N factorial plus RN, where RN is the remainder, and since this remainder is less than or equal to this formula, which is equal to 1 over n times n factorial, e times n factorial is greater than qn and is less than qn plus 1 over n. Since pn is qn plus 1, therefore pn is equal to e times n factorial floor plus 1. So that's it for the theorem, theorem we prepared. And now, let me give you some features of Ramsey's number. Ramsey's number is used in many fields. Examples including confusion graphs for noisy channels, design of packet switch networks, and etc. Et but as these are out of bounds of our knowledge, let me show you some instances of Ramsey's number with two classes. And here it is. Um, I know table is in bad shape, just bear with me please. <laughs> and notice that half of the table is missing because RRS is equivalent to RSR. So basically this side is equivalent with this side, so it is left empty. And as you can see, as number increases, the po range of possible Ramsey's number increases dramatically as we have to check all the possible combinations of etched colorings. Well, quoting from our professor, if aliens invade Earth and demand us to compute R66, which is right here, rather than computing it with all, using all our resources, it would be much faster to prepare a war with them. As I said, so if you could compute one of these unknown Ramsey's numbers, or at least find narrower bounds, narrower bounds for them, it could be a dramatic breakthrough from the current situation. Well, this is, this is it for, the, for this video and thank you guys for watching this.